Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Short304 here. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick shooting video for you guys. Um, this is one of the three replica Gecko Blasters that Aaron Carter and Paul Shrek put together a couple years ago. Um, this is the short one. I picked this up in the trade with Paul back in December, um, right after I shot the video with the original Lou Gecko. Um, this is the short uh, barreled uh, replica. It has a 10 inch barrel. And they also did, I, be, I believe, Paul, correct me if I'm wrong, um, they did a 12 and a 14, I believe, on top of that, or it might have been 14 and a 16, whatever. Anyways, this is a short one. Um, other than the uh, obvious uh, ugly-ass Anno job, sorry, Paul, I'm not into the, the zebra stripe thing, but I know Anno can be changed um, if I ever wanted to. Um, other than that, uh, the biggest differences between this and the three remaining original geckos is the removable barrel with the uh, Carter inserts, um, removable feed tube, uh, which I guess Aaron's kind of been doing on some of the guns he's been doing lately. Well, not lately, but uh, yeah, before he went into quote retirement. Um, and then, uh, you know, the other not so obvious difference, but the one that I noticed, I took some measurements, was the pump handle and then the shroud which is what the feed tube attaches to, are actually thicker. Um, and I believe, I don't remember the measurements exactly, but I want to say they're about a tenth of an inch thicker. So it adds a little bit of weight, which I actually like. Um, and honestly, it feels a lot better in my hands. I, I really like holding it. It points really well. It shoots straight as shit. Uh, honestly, most of the Carters I've ever had shot really well. Um, so those are the major differences. Uh, I really dig this gun. I'm really glad we were able to work that out and send that uh, that Lou Gecko back to SoCal. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really glad I picked this up. I have a feeling this one's going to be with me <laughs> for the foreseeable future. I dig it. I plan on playing with it a lot this year. Uh, and I've got a few guns in my collection, so it's going to definitely see some uh, time in the rotation, <laughs> if you will. Um, this one, I guess the only other thing to point out, this one... Uh, is serial numbered 000 if you can see that. I know, it might be kind of fuzzy. Um, I'll be curious to see what the other two rep replicas were uh, serial numbered, if at all. Um, one of them, I supposedly, is coming to Colorado pretty soon, so I'm hoping to get a game together where we can dual wield a couple of geckos. I mean, considering there's only three replicas and three originals out there, I thought it'd be kind of cool to play a game with two uh, at the same time if we can, more than once, even better. Um, Anyways, so, yeah, I guess with that being said, there ain't a whole lot to show. It's, you know, it's it's a freaking hunk of anodized aluminum that shoots paintballs. So, uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and mask up. And I, yep, I already put a 12 gram in there. And uh, I'll put, hello, I'll put some paint through it. And, uh, yeah, sign up. Like I say, just wanted to go ahead and do this today before I forget. So, um, I did actually just send a gun back to Paul, uh, the other gun I got in the trade, this morning. So I <laughs> uh, figured the timing was kind of appropriate to go ahead and do this, um, even though I don't foresee this one going anywhere anytime soon. <clears throat> nice little crotch shot there for you guys, too. Oh, that was a dude. Fuck. All right, guess we're only shooting two tubes today. So there you go. Uh, I was planning on shooting three tubes, uh, but that happened. <laughs> so that sucks. Whatever. Um, anyway, so cool. Yeah, I didn't chop any balls. That's good because this paint is brittle as shit. I put about 100 rounds through it this morning and a couple hundred in the garage previously. I've only chopped one ball, and, and again, I'm pretty sure that's just due to the, the paint. So I really dig this gun. I think if you ever get a chance to shoot one, uh, do it. And if you ever get the chance to snatch one up and you got the funds, I say do it too. Um... I've owned a lot of Carters, and, and I'm not going to lie, this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, my Mini Buzzard, maybe, 
gives it a run for its money, but it just points really well. It's got the right amount of heft. I mean, for a stockless gun, uh, it doesn't get a whole lot better in my opinion. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the shooting video. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do another video if I ever send it in to be re-anode. Uh, <laughs> not a huge fan of the Zebra Stripes, Paul. Uh, other than that, though, thanks, brother. It's uh, it's an honor to own it. It's a it's a sweet little shooter. Um, and if I ever do get it Rihanna, I'll talk to you first. It'll be a single color, uh, probably a steel or whatever, gunmetal gray kind of color um, or whatever. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video.